For those of you that have followed Shadow and I to remote dark places to do astrophotography, you'll notice that we often go to high elevation areas, high up into the mountains, up into canyons, uh, desert plateaus, mesas, and one of the challenges we often have to deal with is that of the wind. I've been trying to figure out for some time now how to defeat the wind, and in researching it, I ran across a product that is a portable observatory that is designed specifically for blocking the wind uh, and neighboring lights. Uh, so I went ahead and purchased it and I'm going to give it a try tonight. Now I'm going to do it in my own backyard where wind isn't normally a problem, uh, but that's because I don't want to be out uh, in the middle of nowhere struggling with it, trying to figure out how it goes up and maybe more importantly how it comes, it goes back into the box. It's one of those pop-up types, kind of like a pop-up tent. And those of you that have ever filled with those before will know that they go up real easy, but putting them back together can be like a mental Rubik's cube. So I want to learn how to do that here at home before I take it out. So let's go set it up and see how it does tonight. Here's the product in the box. You can see here, by the way, this is in no way, shape, or form, any kind of paid endorsement. I just want to share the uh, experience with you, and if it helps you in any way, uh, then great. it up was a breeze. Where I was struggling a little bit was not with the assembly but with the orientation of how I wanted it. But check this out. You enter in here and here you can have either a telescope or your computer and other things. And then you have a little room here and this is obviously designed for a telescope. <music> I get all the weight on that tripod that's going to start sinking into the grass. So what do we do? Well, we turn to Harley Davidson. These are Harley Davidson kickstand supports. I need two hands here. Okay. You see that? So if any of you ride motorcycles, you know that when you go to put your kickstand down and you're not on pavement, the weight of that bike, all on that small little kickstand, that kickstand can sink into the soil or the grass or the gravel or whatever you're parked on. And you, gotta, you, gotta, you can't leave your bike that way. So we use these. Let's set them up. Okay, do you see how those work? Got one on each of the three legs of the tripod. If that little trick helps anybody, that'll make me happy because I was able to figure it out because I have a motorcycle. Harley Davidson too. Okay, let's see what we got going here. Although the scope does stick up above, uh, you know, I mean, it still has some protection. I can take it lower. I'm learning on this trial here. I can take that tripod down lower. But for now, I'm just trying to figure out how it all works. What do you think? I think it's a step in the right direction. Well, the uh, portable observatory has been up for two days. I reoriented it because I realized that I need to polar align. And when you come in here, I've had the cover on 
the telescope because I've been waiting for two days to do some astrophotography, but the clouds always interfere, but it's definitely clearing tonight. Polaris is straight up there. So I got a polar line through the mount. I can clear this. The way I had it the other way, I couldn't clear this. The other thing too, I realized, is uh, when I go to star align, if I'm gonna bump into these, and I think they're flexible enough, it may not be a big deal. However, I can just take this whole section down because it's, it's just connected by Velcro right there. So what I'm thinking is that, uh, kind of, let me step out here, kind of envision this here. The left is four sides. It's kind of like the permanent one. The right side, I can take it down, polar align, star align, Velcro it back up, and I'm good to go for the rest of the night. I think that's how this is designed to go. So, um, yeah, so anyway, tonight I'm gonna give it a try. Uh, it's also windy tonight, so it will be a good test to see if it helps with the wind. And we'll see what, uh, how it works, and I'll give you a, a final review. Okay, it's morning, and I'm groggy because I stayed up a little bit too late doing astrophotography. But I did get to try the uh, Explore Scientific Go Observatory out, so I'm going to take it down now, and this is going to be <laughs> this is going to be the test of my intelligence because these pop-up things are always a challenge to get back into the box. So you can see how I do. I'll uh, I'll let you watch, and you can be the judge. <laughs> Now I get to get that thing in this box. Wish me luck. You see how easy I pulled up these steaks? These steaks are worthless. So one of the first things I'll do is buy some serious steaks. in the box. I put in the stakes. Whew, that was a workout. <laughs> but uh, it's done. And it went in the box and it actually went in a little easier than I thought it would. So I would give it on a scale of one to ten, uh, probably a six to seven. It's going to be helpful. I wish it was bigger, uh, maybe even taller. I wish it had more sturdy um, stakes, but I can buy those. And I wish it came with instructions, it didn't, but there are some videos on YouTube. Um, you know, a smaller telescope would be more conducive to it, and I do have a smaller telescope. Um, but, you know, uh, I'm glad I bought it. I'm gonna use it. Uh, you'll see me use it in future videos, and we'll see how it works. Thank you.